Hi, in this video, I'm going to share with you a very rare technique that not every SOLIDWORKS user knows. All right, so let's go learn that and bear with me because I have some stuff to tell you. Okay, so what I want to teach you in this video is this. Do you know how to move this tower? As you can see, it's built by various features. They are listed here and we want to move it as it is from this point to this point. So move it a little bit to the left. How do we do that? There is actually a way for it. And the tool for that is called move face, which you don't get on default here. So you can go and look for it here. First, set it to commands, your search bar, then look for move face like this. This is the menu for it. And I have already added it. So that's that. Move face does three different operations, offset, translate, and rotate. In this case, we only need to use it for translate. So we select anything that is part of that tower, any surface actually to be exact, and we move them all together. So once everything is selected, I can just go ahead, drag these arrows and move this tower where I want like this, as long as it makes sense. So. That tower is moved even though it was made on different planes using different features and at different levels now i can just move it now the other modes of operation for that are offset and rotate so offset is this if i want to offset it for the value that i want to add here and also rotate is interesting let's just quickly show you we have rotate select the surface and select an axis of rotation for it let's see if we can actually do change it no, we cannot because of this fillet that we have around it. If I remove the fillet, maybe I can do it. Probably I can do it. Select it, uh, rotate surface, and then around this axis. Can I move it? As you can see, yes. And this is the result. We just rotated the surface. We just offset it a surface and we moved a bunch of surfaces together. So move face is a very valuable tool not precisely for beginners because it could build bad habits for you you should not rely on this tool to fix your errors it's not a good practice but you should know that it exists all right if you like this video if any of these information were new to you i want you to go ahead and actually smash that like button it would help me a lot also if you're new consider subscribing because i help engineers and creative minds to bring their ideas into reality using SOLIDWORKS. I have a very special method for that in my course that I teach and the link to that course for absolute SOLIDWORKS beginners can be found in the description below this video or on the top right corner, if this is the right corner. All right guys, that was the special tip that I wanted to share with you. I'll see you soon.